Hello friends, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, let us discuss about the concept regular expressions. Firstly, if you want to match a string, then you have to use binding operators. This is to match a string and to not to match a string is this one. For example, if I have a variable called string and I want to match whether the word pearl is there or not. For this, I have to use equal to tilde symbol and then use matching operator followed by the pattern. Next is to match a certain pattern, you have to use matching operators. That is by using two double slashes enclosed the pattern or you can use m slash. When you are using m, you can use any kind of characters, not only slash, you can use curly braces also or you can use square brackets or any other character. Now to substitute a regular expression, for this the operator which you have to use is s slash. Matched pattern, whatever the pattern you want to replace with, you give the pattern here, then slash, then the replaced pattern or the pattern which you want to replace with. Next is transliterate operator. If you want to convert some string of uh, letters to some other case. For example, if you want to convert small a to z to capital A to z, then you can use a transliterate operator. Next is case insensitive. If you want to match pattern which are not case insensitive, then you can just use a slash i option at the end. Now let us see about the global flag. If in a string you have like Let's say I have a string like pearl, pearl, pearl. When you substitute a certain pattern with some other pattern without a global flag, then only this occurrence will get replaced. Only the first occurrence will get replaced. For example, I want to replace Pearl with Python, then the then when you use s slash Pearl Python, this will have an output of Python, and all the remaining occurrences will be the same. To replace all occurrences, use a global flag. At the end, you have to give this global flag. Now, let us see some wildcat characters in a complex regular expressions. If you want to match a beginning of a line followed, then you can just use exclamation power cap symbol followed by the string. Let's say I want to match a string starting with pearl. Then you can just use power cap symbol followed by pearl. If you want to match anything what is there at the end of the line, then you can just use, if I want to match a string like pearl which is ending, then you can just use pearl and then dollar symbol. To match any single character, just use dot. If you want to match any characters, then you just use character set. That means if you have A, B, C, this means A or B or C. Next is a character set but there is a cap symbol. If you have a cap symbol that means other than the characters of A, B or C. Excluding the characters A, B or C the remaining whatever the pattern is there those lines if you want. Next is star. If you have A, B star this means zero or more occurrences then this will match a b or a b b or a if you have plus that means if you have a b plus then it should match at least one occurrence a b or a b b but in star if you have only a then also that's fine but in your plus, you have to match at least one occurrence, AB or ABB. Next is 
question mark zero or one preceding expressions if you have a b question mark then it is a or a b now matching occurrences of preceding expression for example if you have pearl followed by number of occurrences like 3 that means i want 3 times my pearl to be matched that means 3 times my pearl have to be repeated next is n comma for example if you have 4 and then 3 comma that means my 4 have to be repeated more than 3 times next is matching n to m occurrences if you have slash d 4 8 slash d means number any number which is ranging from 4 digit to 8 digit n pipe symbol is there if you have something like pearl or python then it matches word pearl or python next is matches alphabetical characters if you want to match any alphabetical characters then just use slash w for a non-alphabetical order this just use slash capital w next is to match white spaces slash s for non white spaces slash capital s to match any number then just use slash d for non numbers slash capital d a good regular expression is this if you have a line like pearl python and java and I am matching this string like s slash pearl and then dot star java. When you give this dot star, whatever is there between pearl and java, that one you will be getting in the variable dollar one. This one you can save it in some variable. Let us say name. So, like this, how many ever dot stars are there? You can just increment this count dollar one, dollar two, dollar three, and so on. Now, let us take a look into a detailed example. This program is to illustrate about the regular expressions. For this, a variable called string is created and assigned this value. To check whether a word called pearl is matching or not, just use the variable name followed by the binding operator this matches a certain pattern this is the matching operator and the pattern has to be enclosed between these forward slashes just print a message saying like matched for matching a certain pattern we use this binding operator equal to followed by the tilde symbol for not matching a certain pattern use exclamatory mark followed by tilde symbol let us test it this is one way to match a certain pattern there is also another way that is by using M. This actually works like single quote variable that is Q. You can give any delimiter here. The same way you can give any delimiter while you are using M. What if I want to match these two slashes? Then I have to escape them. And this matching operator using M I can use delimiters like curly braces or any other character but while I use the delimiters like curly braces no and not of forward slashes then I no need to escape them so 
So this is the second way to use the matching operator. Now let us see a complex regular expression. For that, there is a file here having some lines. Just try to understand what is the data and then try to write the regular expression. If you closely look into those lines, some lines are starting with characters like L, 4, G and then followed by a word called COM. Next there is a dot, a capital letter, dot and then word called tutorials point, dot and followed by some technology name. And there are some numbers like this. After that there are three capital letters which are of same. Next, the, next is two forward slashes and at the end there are some special characters. In this file I want the lines like this which are starting with com. For my reference I am going to copy them here. Now let us write the regular expression. going to use the matching operator with delimiters curly braces. If you look here each line is starting with com. So I have to use a power symbol com. There is a dot escape it followed by some letter like this. For this I can just use a dot that means I want to have one single character here followed by a dot escape it there is a word called tutorials point but I want to write in a generic way I don't want to write here tutorials point for that I can use slash w followed by the number of letters which this is having followed by dot again escape it and the technology name is starting with c just give here c whatever might be here for that just use dot star followed by some number so there is 5 and 6 here for that use a character set 5 to 6 and then there is a dot escape it and if you just look at the file after dot in this number there is an 8 8 8 in all the lines 8 is there so but to match only these two lines I have 8 and 1 common so I can write here 8 and 1 followed by 4 numbers if you look carefully here the last 3 numbers are same but 2 and 5 are different. For this I am just going to use a character set which means 2 or 5 followed by 3 digits numbers. I can just use slash d then 3 digit numbers. Then there is a space. For this I can use slash s plus and there are letters like 3 A's and 3 B's. For this I can just use parenthesis which means 3 A lettered word or B, 3 B lettered word followed by 2 slashes followed by 2 slashes. For that I can just make use of dot star again and at the end there are characters like star and equal to. For this I can use a character set again star equal to and then the dollar symbol. Let's test it now. Then just print that line. That's how you can get it.
Let us now see how to substitute any pattern. If I want to substitute com with aug, then just use the same way, but just chomp the lines so that new line will be removed and then use the default variable binding operator for substituting make use of s and then delimiters I want to replace com with aug so it should be com and then aug now just print the lines too test it all my lines where com is there are got all my lines where com is there got replaced with aug there is a flag called global flag for example in this text file I have com somewhere here and now just try to run this without the global flag and see if you run without global flag first occurrence is replaced with aug but not the occurrences from second if you want to replace all the occurrences then use a global flag at the end this will replace all occurrences so all occurrences are replaced now let us see about the transliterate operator for example if I want to convert LDAP into small case letters and three lettered capital H letters into small case H lettered then I can use transliterate just use tr and then ldap whatever is there in the middle I don't care about them and there is no global flag which you need to use here small lettered dot star and 3h now let us test it If you see here LDAP got converted into small case lettered and capital H letters are converted into small H lettered.